All right, we're once again back at the world's best prospecting store, at least Arizona's. Let's go inside and see what we're getting. Well, I Chattanooga, boy, had a dollar and a dime. Hit it out to Nashville on the hard rock line. I'm working on that old steamboat that learned to ride the steam. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Been saving every penny for to make up through the fall. Working for that dollar, but it never adds up at all. But coming around the river banker, the old train was so sane. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a ball and chain. And I don't know where I'll be But if it wasn't for that old sheriff I'll be back in Tennessee All right, all right. Bring it in here real quick. Uh, we're going to start the Platinum Refining Series video. We're not going to call it a series. All right, we're bringing you another refining video, smelting. Uh, we're going to be smelting something a little bit different this time. Uh, something I don't have too much experience in, matter of fact, none at all. Um, but I'm going to do some procedures that I've researched uh, from Mountain Baker Mining and Metals. I uh, watched a lot of his videos. And then I've seen uh, some old uh, texts uh, that I've been reading as well. Um, I can't take it too far as far as the chemical refining, but we, we will be using... Um, we will be basically doing some assays. So uh, with that said, let me kind of show you what we're talking about here with this material. All right, now here is the ultra high grade concentrate. Uh, this is how it was marked. This is how it came. I've hit it with a magnet, uh, and there there are some magnetics in here, um, but I'm going to be using this in a separate smelt, and then this is the bulk of the material that I need to smelt uh, in a few different batches. Um, I need to grind it down and process it and, and, and concentrate it down. Um, but this material has been concentrated down and the, the supposed readings, I don't, I don't know anything about this outside of it's from Arizona and it's ultra high grade platinum concentrate. Uh, it's running 18.7 troy ounces per ton of platinum and 9.37 ounces of gold per ton of ore, uh, the same ore that was in this bag. So here's a super concentrate we're going to be using some some new dyes here to cast some buttons. Um, I'm be using some collector metals, um, but the problem is when we get to the platinum and the cupels to a certain temperature, um, it's just not going to be hot enough to get rid of all of the lead or the collector metals that we use. Um, so my plan is at the very end of the cupellations, I want to add a little bit of silver to the cupels. Those won't go anywhere. What they're gonna do is drive off the rest of the lead and basically in court the button with platinum and silver. I plan on taking that to like a jeweler or somewhere locally where I can get an XRF scanning so I can actually prove that we did get the platinum into the button. Um, and then one of these buttons I get to keep and the other button I'm gonna be sending off uh, to the prospector. Uh, and then the same thing's gonna go, go on with this bag here. But I'm really, really interested to see how this turns out. This has been concentrated down already. And if we get good results and good readings from that, 
uh, we kind of know and validate the material that we're going to be working with here and investing the time into. This isn't going to be a short process. It's going to be multi-video uh, series. Matter of fact, I've got some work to do on the forge, um, but that's what's going on with the new series of Platinum Pay Dirt Refining. Um, and if everything works out, um, this might be something that's available on the market to people. I don't know what this prospector really wants to do, but uh, he wants to see what we can get out of these these buttons. So, what do you say? And let's try to get some some metal out. And as you can probably see, my forge has all kinds of silver in it, all kinds of little beads of silver in here, um, all of that stuff right in there. But you know, I use this thing quite a bit, and like, I mean, I've done all kinds of uh, you know silver refining and stuff like that. So they bubble and spit when you're melting all kinds of crazy stuff but i've got some new furnace wool in this box i need to do some servicing on this and this um and clean it up refresh it i gotta get this thing up to some high temperatures uh before i can really give it to the test so i hope you guys kind of enjoyed this little brief video about the plans for this platinum smelting we've got some work to do here with this over the weekend um, and i wish you guys a good one